Yo, what is up YouTube? Rain back again with another video. Now we're gonna be doing an inventory update uh, in this video today. So I'm just gonna show you what I've got in my inventory. So starting off, we have the Butterfly Black Laminate in Battle Scarred. Uh, here it is, which is pretty nice. I like how uh, the metal part of the blade is actually showing here and it's not like, you know, too, in the factory new it's all black i like how it's quite metal it shows the metal here it shows the wood design on this and it's a pretty dark knife i do want to get some gloves to pair with these i haven't decided which ones i want to get yet but i still do have the talon tiger tooth that i just borrowed it out to a friend for a couple of weeks um but yeah that's that for the knives for the rifles i have the m4 a1s mecha industries i have two infinite triangle hollows on there they look pretty nice in the light and i do have this foil sticker this sticker already came on uh with it i'm not really too sure what team this is and then for the m4a4 i have the emperor no stickers also minimal wear which is pretty nice depends i switch it up sometimes I use the m4a1s and i use the m4 it depends how i'm feeling for the ak i have the ak case hardened i believe this is a tier 2 ak even though it depends on how much blue you have on the top, depends on the tier that you have. You have tier one, which is like full blue on the top. You have tier two, which is like half blue, quite pretty much everywhere. And you have like tier three, which is blue here and there, but it's nothing too special. But yeah, this is my AK. I don't know what stickers I want to apply to this yet, but I'm still thinking about it. I don't know if I want to apply any stickers on it, to be honest, but... We'll see, I'm still thinking about it. And then for my AWP, I have the AWP Neo Noir with uh, three G2 glitters on there. I'm not too sure why I put those on there. Uh, I had the G2 on the scope starting out and I said, hey, I have a couple more of these G2 glitters. I might as well put those here. And I didn't put any here because I just didn't want to mess up the artwork too much. I already messed it up here, but I just didn't want to put one here. This is also in minimal wear, which looks pretty good. And we have the USPS Traitor for the pistols, for the CT side, this is a pretty nice, um, this is a pretty nice uh, USP, I do like it, I might be leveling up to the print stream soon, but again it's quite pricey, uh, just like the M4, it's £60 for the USPS print stream, but I'll be thinking about it. T side, I have the Glock 18 Vogue. It's pretty all right. I am thinking about getting the Glock 18 Franklin, but we'll see what I do go for in the next inventory update video and see how my inventory has changed. Deagle here, yeah, Deagle print stream with two rocks glitters on there. That looks pretty cool. I didn't go for the third one because I kind of don't like the spacing that they have on the Deagles. So the one sticker's down here on the handle. The next sticker's really far up on the barrel and then these two are quite close. I'm not a fan of the spacing that they have for the Deagle stickers, but you have the two Deagle, I have the two Rocks glitters on there. Coming over to the submachine guns, I have the Discotech Mac 10. I do like this. I probably won't switch this out for anything. I, it's just a pretty nice Mac 10. I think I unbox this also. And I have the MP7 Fade. Believe it or not, this is in factory new and it just looks so scuffed. But the Fade skins did get a buff in CS2, so I'm excited to see how it's gonna look in CS2. And then we have the Starlight Protector for the Mac MP9, which is okay. It's a nice whitish skin. It's one of the best uh, MP9 skins in my opinion. I wish the white was just a bit more white, but I'm okay with it. I've also got the SSG Turbo Peak, um, which is okay. This is pretty decent. The artwork is pretty scuffed, but honestly, it's it's not bad. It's a decent SSG skin. I don't really play the Scout, but it's okay. This is pretty much my range of skins. I don't really step out of this. And then for my T agent, I have Little Kev. It looks like Conor McGregor, pretty baller. It kind of reminds me of a TF2 uh, character. But yeah, it's pretty nice. And then for my CT side, I have Squad D Squadron Officer with the Shattered Web uh, patches on him, which is pretty cool. It's pretty nice. 
I like this agent because he has black sleeves on him. Other than the default one, he has... Other than the default agent, he has blue sleeves. So, with my black knife, it just looks cooler. I am looking to get some black gloves. I'm probably going to get the black tie. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you in a future video. Peace.